Hey guys, Zeri11 here, and today we're going to be counting down the top 10 rookies to collect from the 2016-2017 NHL season. Now, in the background here, as uh, this box wants to try to fall over here, so <laughs> we got some honorable mentions. We have, uh, from left to right here, we got Jimmy VC, Braden Point, Travis Konechny, Christian Dvorak, I almost said Rack Dvorak, why would I? <laughs> uh, Mikhail Sergachev, and then up there we got Nick Schmalz and Dylan Strom. Those are honorable men the honorable mentions that did not make the top 10. But uh, let's start off in the top 10 with a Philadelphia Flyer, Ivan Provorov. Now, um, Ivan Provorov's a defenseman, he played in the Brandon Wheat Kings of the Western Hockey League. Um, this guy's poised to be Philadelphia's number one defenseman. Um, I have three of his young guns. Uh, he's definitely a good player to collect. He's going to be a real good defenseman for a long time. So that's number 10. That is Ivan Provorov. And also I want to mention before we continue on, all the players in the top 10 have played at least 40 games or more. Like some of these players here, like uh, Sergachev and Strom. Strom play, only played 7 games. Sergachev, I don't know how many played, but... Uh, yeah, they didn't. They haven't played that much. Um, but... The top 10, they've played at least 40. And this guy played exactly 40. And that is Jake Ginsel. Um, I'd never heard of this guy before the, um, before he made his debut about halfway in the season. He's from Omaha, and he played for the NCAA Omaha. Uh, so, yeah, he's from Nebraska. That's a weird place to be from for a hockey player, not going to lie. but um, And 40 games, he has a, in a very impressive 33 points. He's playing with the big guys there in Pittsburgh. That's probably why. But he is quite the player. If you watch Pittsburgh, yeah, you'll know he's quite the good player. And on an entry-level deal, that's not too bad. Um, but yeah, Jake Ginsel, be sure to be on the lookout for uh, more of his cards. He doesn't have many cards right now. Um, he doesn't even have a regular Young Guns. Hopefully, SB Authentic, they'll give him an update Young Guns. But here's his canvas, which sells pretty well, I might add. So yeah, that's number nine. Number eight is Zach Wierenski. After winning the Calder Cup, Calder Cup, yeah, last year with the uh, Cleveland Monsters, um, he uh, had a very impressive rookie season. Had forty something points, or however many he got. Um, very impressive rookie season. Uh, definitely a power play quarterback for the Blue Jackets. Um, really good defenseman. Uh, kind of, well, Columbus Blue Jackets. Their defense is really good, and he just helps it even more. But yeah, Zach Wierenski. Okay, 10, 9, 8. Number 7 is the Detroit Red Wing, Anthony Mantha. Now, um, Mantha played 60 games this season. He uh, got 36 points. Uh, he's a uh, big guy. Um, could be a really good uh, power forward for the Red Wings down the line. Uh, we'll see. But uh, Detroit had its first bad year in 25 years. They're going to get a top 10 pick coming up here. So that's going to be interesting. But Anthony Manta is going to be an important part if this team, this franchise, is going to get turned around. Was it Little Caesars Arena now? Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, no longer the Joe Louis Arena. Fortunately, I actually uh, went to a Red Wings game in the Joe Louis Arena. That was like seven years ago against the uh, L.A. Kings. And uh, I believe the Kings won 3-2. to two. But um, continuing on, we have a Young Guns of Matthew Kachuk, and he is also number six on this list. Matthew Kachuk. <laughs> um, yeah, Matthew Kachuk, he got 48 points. Uh, he is not afraid. He has nose dirty. He's not afraid at all. He'll take runs at star players like Drew Doughty. He gets suspended a couple games. He's kind of a bit of a cheap player, not going to lie. Uh, plays on the edge. I really like that. He's a really solid player. Yeah, Matthew Kachuk. Also, uh, he has a brother. Um, I forget his name, but he's going to be draft eligible, I think, a year from now. Maybe two years from now. But yeah, Matthew Kachuk. Alright, now we're getting into the top five, right? Yeah, well, yeah. Two, three, four. Yeah, here, okay, top five. There will be controversy here, but um, number five, we have Sebastian Ajo. Um, this guy got 48 points. Um... On a Carolina team that doesn't really have a whole lot of offense. So that's impressive. Jeff Skinner had a good year, though. But um, Carolina had a good year in general. But, yeah, Carolina Hurricanes 
have a gem here. I I strongly believe uh, Sebastian Ajo. This guy's gonna be an absolute star. Um, from what I've seen already, and in the World Juniors when he played with Pulley RV and Line A. By the way, Pulley RV is not in this list. Um, Sebastian Ajo, yeah, he's gonna be a star in this league. Uh, not the biggest guy, but he's uh he's real crafty, and uh, I like players like that. So yeah, Sebastian. Oh, I'm thrilled that I got this card too. Showcase. Um, okay, now, number four, we're getting to William Nylander, getting to the big stuff now, um, yeah, William Nylander, 60 point rookie season, uh, on the, one of the biggest markets in the league, or if not the biggest market, um, yeah, this is a highly, uh, sought after player to collect, myself included, but yeah, William Nylander, um, uh, picking up as much stuff as I can of him, well, higher end stuff. But yeah, William Nylander, uh, uh, I'm pretty sure, well, it's a surefire that this guy's going to be a star. So yeah. And uh, number three is Patrick Laine. <laughs> um, yeah, number three, Patrick Laine, um, 36 goals as a rookie, 0 .88 uh, points per game. Um, it's quite the player, not even going to lie, uh... I have him at number three for a good reason. I'll explain it in a minute here. But um, Patrick Laine, runner-up for the Calder. Yes, I said it. And number two, we have Mitch Marner. Now, time to explain why Mitch Marner is number two and Patrick Laine is number three. I'm going to do a comparable to um, some of the current players that are similar to them. All right, let's compare Patrick Laine to Alexander Ovechkin. This is collecting, too. And I'll compare Mitch Marner to Patrick Kane, which is both of these. That's pretty high price for both of these guys. But, um, okay, Patrick Line A, we'll compare him to Alex Ovechkin, okay? Alex Ovechkin's Young Guns when it came out, it's crazy. It's like $150 card in, in the Beckett, um, but it did dip, and already, Line A's card is already dropping. It was at 150 and it's dropping pretty quick. Not to say that Marner's Young Guns didn't drop, his dropped also, but if you look, okay, if you look at Patrick Kane, yes, he's a f absolute champion, but um, his stuff all went on the rise. His st stuff came out around eighty dollars in the Beckett, and I was fortunate enough to pull the one that year. But um, his stuff has just been on the rise and on the rise. Ovi's stuff is it's kind of been up and down. It's kind of slowly going back up now. But um, strongly believe that this stuff is only going to go up. Mitch Marner, and I feel also um, it also helps that Mitch Marner's on the Leafs. I mean. There's so many Leaf collectors. Like, it's absolute pain to collect Leaf stuff where I am. Leaf land. So, um, yeah. But we got Patrick Laine here at number three. And that's pretty much why, um, yeah, it could be Rocket Richard winner. For sure. Absolutely. But, um, I feel to collect, it's not going to be as valuable as uh, Marner down the line. So that's why Laine is number three. And uh, Marner is number two, so hopefully that clears thing up, clears things up. But um, number one, let me take this out of the thing here, just so you guys can see it better. Who else would it be? But the Calder Trophy winner, uh, Austin Matthews, forty goal scorer, um, number one center, uh, superstar already, almost seventy points on the season. Uh, well, what else can I say? Austin Matthews, um, yeah, he's a savior of the Toronto Maple Leafs here. Uh, they're in the playoffs. Um, they're going to be out in the first round. I already called that, but um, hey, they made the playoffs. But yeah, Austin Matthews is number one in the top ten uh, players to collect from the 2016-2017 NHL season. Yeah, some ones I didn't mention there were like, uh, who else, who was it? Like, um, yeah, Pauly Harvey was the one, Kyle Connor. Um, there's some players I'm not mentioning because, um, uh, I want, I do want to make a video and I, I want to know if you guys want to see the video. It's, um, top 10 players that are kind of going under the radar this year that, um, could have, uh, serious like jumps in card value in the future um a prime example was back in 1415 guys like shane gostas bear it was like a pretty much a common card and it bumped way up to like 50 bucks i remember pulling two of those last year never didn't record it but 
things like that. I ha I could compile ten players easily that that fly under the radar that um they're selling pretty cheap but could go up in price. So if you guys want to see that, be sure to leave a like. Um, so yeah, there's a top ten uh, players to collect from the 2016-2017 NHL season. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, don't get too mad at, the, at that top ten. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Uh -huh.